Hello everybody, this is Robert here, and I'm just wanted to share with you all this uh, train car I got recently. It's a New York Central train car, and it's an operating train car specifically. It is from MTH, and I just wanted to make a little review video just to show all the features it has. If anyone wanted to purchase one since MTH doesn't uh, make stuff, like make new equipment anymore, or new train stuff, so this is the uh, box it came in. Here, and um, have the uh, directions right here as well. So, I'll now at least show what the inside is going to be like here, so, the uh, train car comes with uh, these little crates that you uh, shove in the back, and also has a platform, which I have currently in the uh, packaging at the moment, because I don't want to, don't need any don't have a purpose for it right now because the layout can't fit it. <laughs> and then the underside has these two pickups, two, yeah, two of the pickups for an operating track section and then one for the middle section as well. That's, that I think is for the uh, smoke unit. Yeah, you can see on the, that's the MTH operating track section picture they show you right there. That's how it gets its power. So, <clears throat> what the, uh, what the train car does is it opens and it, and the little worker guy shoves out some dry ice from the uh, train car. And it can fit three dry ice cases um, in it, and uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. The door, one of the doors opens, you can mess with it. This is the, you open this one, and that's what it looks like from the uh, inside. And I got this flashlight here so you can see better. Maybe that's some glare. Yeah, so you can see back there that the, uh, you can see the smoke unit. That's the little black thing. The, like little, looks like a smokestack kind of. And then the, uh, you can see the light in there that also turns on when the train car operates. And then right here, you can open the crates with this right here. And that's how you uh, put them in. You just shove them in there, just like that. I just wanted to show you what the smoke fluid is like. So that's the uh, case it comes in. It makes a little, they put a little space for the styrofoam to just put it in there. And when you take it out, you just uh, you just open it and shove this little thing in it. This little plastic tube thing. And then you have to squeeze the nozzle to get the smoke fluid out, but you don't have to do that if you have a normal, like, pipette thing that you can use, because those are way better than this stuff here. You can just use a normal pipette with smoke fluid, and that'll work way better. And then this is the platform that the crates would uh, come out of. Where it, 
Yeah, that's the bottom side, just in case you wanted to see that. And then this is the outside of it. Here's the uh, operation section of the directions here. You got a starting position. It's closed, and you leave it closed because the door that it the crates come out of stays closed and is controlled by the uh, mechanism inside so you don't want to force it open or cut it open or anything that would that would be silly that would damage it and then that's the picture of what will happen when the uh, crates come out they'll just slide down the ramp and that's the controller for MTH but I don't have that I have a different controller I bought and then this is the bottom position it's just saying that if you want to replace the light bulb you gotta remove these screws on the bottom fix the other mechanism or unscrew you gotta unscrew the screws here that would keep the door frame on and that will pop off but, uh, and let's see, also, that's what it looks like once you take the, uh, complete top off the boxcar. It's, uh, pretty interesting, but I don't need to look at that for, for now, because nothing's wrong with it. And it shows you the interior. Right there. And that's the discharge slide. So you gotta pop that off, I guess. And then you can mess with it.